The sixth assessment report by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change made it very clear. We need to act, and we need to act now, to limit global temperature rise to the Paris Agreement target of 1.5 degrees Celsius and avoid the irreversible impacts of global warming. Every fraction of degree counts, and every sector needs to act. Aviation is no exception. The aviation community has always endeavored to find global solutions through innovation and ingenuity. ICAO, the UN Specialized Agency for International Civil Aviation, is driving the green transition for aviation by fostering an ambitious decarbonization pathway for the sector. ICAO is leading and achieving the collective global sectoral goals of 2% annual fuel efficiency improvement and 2020 carbon neutral growth by implementing a basket of CO2 mitigation measures, complemented by Corsia. ICAO developed specific tracker tools to monitor the progress on innovations in each element of the basket of measures. ICAO has been exploring the feasibility of a long-term global aspirational goal for international aviation, LTAG, through the ICAO stock taking. ICAO gathered data on CO2 emissions reductions in a transparent and inclusive manner, and through its Committee on Aviation and Environmental Protection, developed combined aviation and sector scenarios from technology, fuels, and operations that represent a range of readiness levels and attainability. An analysis of the scenarios was carried out to understand those impacts on CO2 emissions and cost associated with the scenarios in the context of the science on global climate change. This groundbreaking ICAO LTAG report, which was through the work of around 300 international experts from states, industry, academia, and civil society, was agreed by consensus at CAPE. The ICAO Council agreed to publish the report in March 2022. The three LTAG scenarios offer increasing levels of ambition, with the possibility of up to 87% of CO2 emissions reduction by 2050. These reductions will come from innovations in technology, operation, and fuels. New technology including advanced traditional and new unconventional airframe configurations are expected to contribute up to 21%. Evolutionary technology will continue to introduce significant improvements in fuel efficiency to each new generation of aircraft. But some of the radical concepts, like electric and hydrogen-powered aircraft, could deliver carbon-free operations in the future. Improvements in operations will continue to play a significant role, reducing aviation seasons CO2 emissions by up to 11%. These include optimized routes, enhanced air traffic management, collaborative approaches, efficient and clean ground operations, and innovations such as formation flying. The biggest challenge in the future is how to reconcile operational performance and infrastructure needs of different technology concepts on the ground and in the air. The contribution of sustainable aviation fuels, SAF, and other cleaner energy sources will be of paramount importance if international aviation is to reach more ambitious climate goals with the largest overall CO2 reductions by 2050 of up to 55%. The main advantage of drop-in aviation fuels is that they do not require changes to the aircraft or its fueling infrastructure, and that they can be mixed with traditional aviation fuels. The technology is proven and hundreds of thousands of commercial flights have already taken place, making sustainable sustainable fuels the perfect measure to be implemented in the short term. Various types of sustainable fuels and production processes have already been approved by the relevant standard setting bodies in cooperation with ICAO. In the long term, liquid fuels are expected to undergo a full transition to sustainable low carbon sources. Power to liquid fuels made from recycled or directly captured CO2 and low carbon electricity are just a few examples. While aviation fuels have the potential to provide the greatest CO2 reductions, the LTAC report also makes evident that these fuels will drive the costs and investments needed to move towards the decarbonization of the sector. But all states, despite their different circumstances and capabilities, want to take action. 
There is no one-size-fits-all solution for SAF. And all states have a role in their development and global deployment. The necessary investments and innovations will require clear environmental commitment and participation from all aviation stakeholders, including states, manufacturers, airlines, air navigation service providers, airports, and fuel providers. More than 130 states have voluntarily submitted their state action plans to ICAO, and their role needs to be strengthened to facilitate the longer-term action by states and to leverage potential sources of funding. No country left behind for the use of SAF in aviation is no longer a wish. It is a must. And ICAO is taking the lead by providing the necessary capacity building and assistance to its member states. Thanks to the ICAO Assistance Capacity Building and Training for SAF Act SAF program, all states and stakeholders are invited to join Act SAF. In the lead up to the 41st session of the assembly, all voices are heard including views raised during the ICAO stocktaking and high-level meeting on LTAG. ICAO is listening to its member states through the LTAG Global Aviation Dialogues, and the message from states was clear that financing and means of implementation will be key to aviation sustainability and an ambitious long-term goal. Cooperation by all will be key for effective action. The green transition of aviation is our commitment so that future generations can enjoy the benefits of a sustainable and resilient global air transport.